party government envisage this kind of a situation. That's why in 1999, we passed a law, the National Heritage Resources Act, number 25. And there's nothing wrong with the call. Um, in the NDP, we say that we want active citizenry. And this is part of it, that citizens should be able to express their views on whatever is happening uh, in their lives. And in this instance, the students uh, at the UCT were doing just that. The issue becomes on how you do what you want to do in effecting change. Change has to happen. That's, there's no question about that. That when you have uh, uh, defeated the racial and colonialist government, everything had to change. Signs and symbols had to change. Um, the manner in which that happens is important because our policy as government is the policy of reconciliation. What we are saying about that, it speaks exactly to what is happening. That we should not, we should, we should forgive what happened in the past and move on as the Constitution asks us, but not forget. Because if you forget, if you obliterate everything, uh, you will try, but you won't succeed to obliterate history, because history is history. You don't choose it, it's there. We were not surprised at all, and uh, we, we think that we should commend the students of UCT primarily on the fact that they did not destroy that uh, statue, because the destruction of the statues is not helping anyone. The fundamental point, though, is that the call of the statues or the name change of streets and so on have underlying implications. The issue is transformation. And, and, and with UCT and with what students have said, I think that the authorities would heed the call and, and confront the real issues. Law enforcement officials.